what do we need to do to bring this virus under control? And then what do we need to eliminate this virus from the lives of all human beings? Historian Timuel Black has spent a lot of time lately thinking about COVID-19. He is almost 101 years old, and he compares this pandemic to the Spanish flu of 1918. That one took his sister's life. I was just reading where you said that you don't think your mother ever got over the loss of your sister to the Spanish flu. That's right. She didn't. But she felt uh, guilty that she did not protect her baby girl. But he remembers back then when families suffered, community groups stepped up to ease that pain, especially when the pain was so very widespread. Almost immediately there was response in an organized way from a community, the NAACP and other organizations. He says that's how a lot of people learned just how dangerous the Spanish flu really was. Today, he's calling on established institutions in the neighborhoods like churches to take the lead in this latest fight. Organize their congregations and those congregations that they then go to the wider community Black believes that may be the best way to reach many people who don't seem to be taking this virus seriously. Those are the people who are in the most danger, particularly poor people and people across racial and ethnic lines. Based on what you're seeing, are you optimistic? How do you feel that this thing is going to turn out? Well, I'm optimistic. As I have been throughout time, that trouble don't last always. It is uh, an honor and a pleasure to, to be able to talk to you. I appreciate your time so much, Mr. Black. I hope it's been worth your time. It always is. Jose Sanders, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.